मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अर्लियर आई डिस्कस अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ कॉमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज देन आई डिस्कस अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ नॉन कॉमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज एंड देन आई डिस्कस द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स और फीचर्स ऑफ कॉमर्शियल एक्टिविटीज एंड द characteristics or features of non commercial activities at last i discussed the difference between commercial activities and non commercial activities so i hope the meaning of commercial activities and the meaning of non commercial activities is clear to you today i am going to discuss the different types of commercial activities before going to start the different types of commercial activities once more i want to discuss the meaning of commercial activities now what is the meaning of commercial activities any activities what is being performed by the human beings for the purpose of earning money or earning profit those activities are called commercial activities today i am going to discuss the different types of commercial activities means different activities what the human beings are performing for the purpose of earning money or profit they are basically called commercial activities and these commercial activities are basically divided into three parts one is called business the second is called profession and the last one is called employment in place of business also human activity human beings are performed in the activities for the purpose of earning money on the other hand the professionals means maybe a doctor maybe a lawyer what whoever might be those professionals are also providing their duties or service for the purpose of earning some salaries or wages that means they are also interested to earn money consult consultation fee or something they are taking it. and at last employment like when anyone is working under someone else like i am working under someone or you are working under someone for what purpose you are working you are working for the purpose of getting some salary so that means they are also your aim is what to earn money so all these activities are related with earning money that is why they are called commercial activities in today's class i am just going to discuss only about the business and what is there in the syllabus about the business in the syllabus icc syllabus they said learn the meaning of business and the characteristics of business okay beta so what is business definitely you know the business is a commercial activity now in business what kind of activity you perform beta beta and those activities you are performing for what purpose for the purpose of earning money that is why this activity it is also called beta commercial activities so what is business basically business includes all those economics activities which are concerned with production and exchange of goods or services with the object of earning money so what are we here doing the production okay after doing the production what are you doing it you are not doing the production for the purpose of keeping it in your ground or you can say warehouse you are doing this production for the purpose of what for the purpose of selling those production to someone in exchange of money or not that is why those types of activities are called economics activities or commercial activities and name of that activity is called business so what is happening in business there is production okay beta there is exchange means what exchange exchange of ownership now when you are exchanging the ownership on what after getting money or after getting amount of that that is why it is called business now what is the characteristic of business from the definition of the characteristic here buying and selling every business what about buying and selling all of the thing any businessman what they do they buy the things from producers and selling it to the ultimate user or not so here what is the taking place buying and selling second thing it is a continuous process 
Why it is a continuous business? Is a continuous process. Once you supply something or once you produce something, definitely after that you are not going to stop your production. You are continuously doing your production day by day. Okay, as and when it required. So that is why it is called business. It is a continuous process. Buying, selling. Okay, brother. All those things are going on every day. That is why it is called a continuous process. Next thing, risk and uncertainty. Very important to understand. In business, there is some risk. There is some uncertainty. What is uncertainty here, brother? That the liking and disliking of human beings are not certain. Today, what you notice might be a part, human beings are liking a particular products, and by seeing they are liking, the business organization must have produced that particular products too much. And what happens sometimes, brother? You must have been noticed the people are not ready to buy those things. So is there any risk? Is there or not? So in the business, risk and uncertainty is there. Always there is. Whether the customer will come or not, whether the customer will like the particular product or not, it is not certain. It is uncertain, and there is always risk. Okay? Why is you must have produced a lot of things, but not because of some circumstances. What is notice? People are not. Coming and buying all those things, so that is why there is a risk and uncertainty in business. All of you are knowing. If anyone's parents is doing the business, you please ask them. They will tell you. क्या करे इस महीने में मेरे एक को पैसा कमाए नहीं हुआ, एक को सामान हम बेच नहीं पाए. Why? Because of this risk and uncertainty is there in the business. Next, customer satisfaction is very important. If you want to increase your business, if you want to increase your products, what do you want? You have to create the demand. And when you create the demand, how you can create like that? By giving the satisfaction to the customers. If the customers are satisfied about your product, about your goods, what is going to happen, brother? Definitely, your business will increase or not. Okay? You can see in your locality, might be there are three, four, five people are running the same business. But you, what you notice? A particular place always there is crowd. All the people are interested to buy from him. Might be the cost of the goods are same in all those three places, but then also you notice in a, one particular place, more and more people are interested to buy the products. Why? Because customer satisfaction is one of the very important component of business. And if you satisfy the customer by your service, by the product what you are giving it to them, customer friendly products. And the cost is also a little bit less. What do you notice there? Customer will be interested to buy your product. Okay, brother. Nice profit motive. Definitely, you are doing the business for what purpose? You can go and ask any businessman. What is their main motive? The main objective or main characteristics of business is to earn profit. Yes or no? Any business, whatsoever might be the business. What is their main motive? To earn profit. And at last. Creative and dynamic business is creative. Why it is creative? Why it is dynamic? It is not static. You know what the meaning of static? What is fixed? What is not changing? They are dynamic. So business is creative, and you have to create the demand. Understood? When you are going to a business place to buy something, the way that salesman, way that business people create, you know, demand on you. Even if you are not interested to buy, sometimes they force you to buy it. By creating a demand, it is a dynamic method because they are not dealing each and every customer in the same manner. They are not dealing each and every customer. They are not what what they are not making the customer understanding to buy the good in the same manner. Like you must have been noticing in the class, sometimes your teachers are very dynamic. Why they are dynamic? They are not dealing with the same way to each and every students. You must have been noticing in your class there are fifty students are there, and there are some students to control them. You have to shout at them. By shouting, you can control few students, but every student you cannot control them by shouting or making them afraid of something else. But if you give them a little bit of love and affection. What is happening there? Those students who are not listening to anything, what do you notice? 
they are ready to listen to you. So this is what is called dynamic. When you are dealing with different kinds of students, your dealing system should not be same. The way you are dealing, each and everyone's dealing will never be same. Same way. Here also, when you are going to the business, when you are interested to transfer the ownership after getting the money, your way of dealing with the customer will be dynamic. It cannot be static. So this is what I discussed today. I, today, I only told you one of the economic activities that is called business. And what I discussed, Veda? I discussed the meaning of business and I discussed the characteristics of business. If you know the meaning of business, it is very easy for you to write the characteristics of business. I hope I have made it very clear to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.